that they shot at us. Rallies that we have had in the past 24 hours where people are going to the jails to support their friends as they leave, we are finding that cops are also meeting them there with brutality. We've seen plain clothed cops snatch several demonstrators who were supporting their peers coming out of jail. We've seen them being snatched, being thrown into cars. We have seen cops prepared with tasers. This is not acceptable when we are already resisting the G8 and G20 violence, the violence that comes from their structures and policies. Josephs. Hey, Josephs. That's Officer know. Joseph, sir. Oh, okay. Sounds fair. Have a nice day. Yeah, how do you feel about the, the whole uh, the, the video and everything that surfaced? Like, you know, looking back on it now. There's nothing to look back on. Did my job. I'm a police officer, right? You touch me with that bubble. We're going into custody. Do you understand me? Gentlemen, Toronto is in police state lockdown. You are free to do as you are told. 
You are free to have your bag searched arbitrarily. You are free to hand in your identification. Please look up to your nearest CCTV camera so your face may be reported. So what we need to do is get the police on our side because they are just family men and women just like you and I. And as soon as the police stop obeying their orders from the criminal thugs at the top, there will be no one left to defend this very small cabal of dangerous criminals who are the international financiers and bankers. This is not North Korea. This is not China. This is a civilized Western nation where people are treated with respect and dignity. And as far as I can see, 100% of the people here are peaceful and loving. We are blocking off entire city blocks to keep you safe. You must comply in order to remain safe. Treat us with the same courtesy we will treat you, and everything will truly be okay, and we can have a nice, fun day together in the New World Order amusement park that is downtown Toronto now. Thank you. Interesting thing that uh, that happened. Uh, Charlie and I were in the middle of this particular protest where everybody got uh, surrounded, and um, they had blocked the street on Queen Street leading up to Spadina, the area where one of the police cars was on fire. And Charlie got on the bullhorn and said, "You know, if this line is blocked, let's go north, everybody." Not oh, being very forthcoming with why they're blocking us. I guess we're going to have to go that way. So everybody started to go this way, and then all of a sudden the police opened up the line and allowed everyone to go through. Almost like as if they wanted us to be in that particular area where that police car uh, was on fire. It's so busy, dude. I'm so sorry. I've got so much stuff I need to do. I'm going to be on the radio in an hour. I saw you on the perimeter yesterday. Okay. I'd like to see your ID, please. Can I ask why? Yes. Why? I'd like to see it. Do you have a problem? Is there a reason why you wouldn't want to show your ID? Yeah, because I uh, live in Canada. I don't, I'm walking yeah. down the street with a camera, right? I'm not... Uh, Given your shirt, your proximity you were, you're videotaping yesterday down at the... Uh, yeah, Tyranny. You know yeah. what Tyranny is, sir? Yep. Well, what is it? Thank you very much. I don't need a, 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 a lesson in the diction in English, okay? Yes. Maximal I can tell therapy. you don't know what it is. I saw the looks you were giving me directly yesterday while we were down there. Now it's illegal to look at somebody, sir? Absolutely not. Just caught I looked at, I looked at you in an illegal way, sir? No, no, not, not at all. I'm just saying it was... It seemed like you were very agitated, quite like you're starting to become right now. Not to be stopping. Not to be Not to be stopped. here there was pretty much already a big gathering uh, the bikes were already there everybody was already sitting in uh, we were already on our way home um, we kind of just figured we'd take some pictures walk across we had to get from this side of the intersection to that side of the intersection so we decided we would just walk through take a few pictures on the way as a budding photographer thought it'd be kind of cool to get the aftermath shots down here just to see what it was like we were just walking down Queen Street like spent the day it was probably like I don't know, like five in the afternoon or in the evening. So it didn't seem it didn't seem like it wasn't too big of a crowd. It seemed, you know, peaceful. So we were kind of just observing and watching what was going on. I 
found out a lot of the people that were there that were stuck in were just uh, had just been walking by. Some of the people were just curious about what the protest was like because of all the stuff that happened on the Saturday. So they walked down there, and then some of the people were just like local area residents stuck in here. So they have nowhere to disperse to. Just, just for the record, and here come the riot cops. is already blocked off on the south and the west side and then buses pull up from the north big greyhound buses like uh, full of riot cops all i see is like maybe three bus loads full of um, swat team members come out and we're just starting to walk up there pull up and then they all load out and start walking down and by the time we've seen that happen we're like oh crap we came back over here to kind of see what was going to happen you know if they were going to maybe try and arrest people or something and try and avoid it because they're definitely not allowing us to go that way. Oh, that's good. Corral is in the back. These guys in the north are trying to get us to move south, which was, I didn't even want to go down that far, you know? And I walk over to the east side, and uh, there's another riot squad coming in from the east. So basically, they, were, they surrounded the whole intersection. Right now, there's a bunch of cops there telling us to go this way, a bunch of cops there telling us to go this way, a bunch of cops there blocking off that way. I don't know where to go, got my peace signs up and hoping nothing happens. Nobody knew what was going on, Nick. We'd ask a police officer or something and they just start tapping on their uh, whatever shields and we're like, okay, you know, you back away. There's a point where, like, where I was starting to kind of get scared when they were getting tear gas masks on over here and um, definitely giving a feeling of threat. And so it's like, oh my God, you know, like I'm gonna get tear gas and I'm just here and I didn't even wanna be here. We would ask officers on one side, can we leave? And they would tell us to go to the other side. We'd ask them and they would say the exact same thing. Where are people supposed to go? Pardon? Okay, all right. So I just talked to one of the police officers asking, you know, where are protests supposed to go? Because we're all boxed in here. He said to hang tight. Pretty much have no place to go, so activists are pinned. It's kind of a hairy situation. Let's hope that the police officers use all their uh, best judgment and do not uh, injure any innocent protesters. Where are we supposed to go if they don't want us to protest? This is like really messed up, man. Half of you don't even know what the G20 is about. We give up our banking system to a foreign entity. Someone's running our country, not us. All of a sudden, at a moment's notice, we saw stormtroopers move in and close everybody off, isolate.